So, I often wondered, as a kid, when you're famous, and then you lose your fame, what do they do? Well now, thanks to Right Said Fred, I know. Well, let's take a look, shall we? And now, a message from our sponsor. Say what? Say what? Say what? Say... Say... What? what? Say what? Got it! Hello. Welcome to Say What? Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Now before we go any further, let me just say, this week, this Saturday, is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. I have one simple request for all you beautiful people watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing now and get me to that magical 1,000 subscriber mark. I am less than 140 away, I think, right now, and it would mean the world for me to reach 1,000 by my birthday. I'll leave that all with you. You have the power to fulfill my birthday wish. Now let's get on to the Freds. So digging around the old Freds Twitter feed, I came across this beauty. Ration packs on the way. Why would we need ration packs? pushing fear into the population and their followers. But I thought to myself, hmm, I don't know. That's um, ration packs. I think of the army. That's what I think of when I see a ration pack. There's the code in that advert. So I'll do a quick Google search. Two seconds later, this pops up. It's an advert for tenders for the UK Ministry of Defence for the supply of operational ration packs on behalf of United Kingdom Ministry of Defence. And this advert was also posted in April 2015, long before any issues that they're ranting about came along. So yet again, no context, no research, just click and share because it fits their narrative. But when you look at it properly, you just look like a complete bunch of Muppets who don't know what they're talking about just to push fear and antagonize people and clickbait I guess it's all about clickbait isn't it then I see this post geez seven years ago in Manchester raising awareness for hepatitis C testing now that's commendable that's brilliant asking people to get tested for hep C, hep, hepatitis C so that if they are positive with it they can get the uh, the treatment which will hopefully cure it and then stop the spread of this virus I make the population safer and then someone replied to that post don't get the hep c jab it damaged me we lost friends with hep c so we helped raise awareness i'm sorry to hear the jab wasn't successful for you now again i'm sorry to hear the lost friends through hep c but this is exactly what they are saying about the the vax they're saying the same thing that wink and woo is saying and they don't like that because it affected them Plus, another post from the threads. Many are funded by interested third parties who stand to gain from PCR tests, mask sales, and of course, the vax. This is the threads replying to a post about um, Sunak and the PCR tests and their narrative that pharma companies are bad, PCR tests are bad, and it's all a scam to make money. Where they are, raising awareness for hep C, Happy to push that narrative and tell people to crack on and get tested so they can reduce the spread of the virus, the hepatitis C virus, because that's what it is. It's a virus. There's no vaccine for hepatitis C, but there's a cure. And you don't know you've got it, get tested, you can get cured, and you can stop spreading the virus. That's the goal. So again, as I say, a quick Google search. Two seconds later, how are we testing for hepatitis C? Oh look, we are using a PCR test to find out if someone has or has not got hepatitis C. The same PCR test that they said were bad and money making scams for the pharma companies, yada yada yada. In reality, the truth is, the test is there to stop the spread of the virus. To treat people and stop it from spreading. So as I said before, 
There's no vaccine for hepatitis C. There is um, an antiviral drug and it cures 9 out of 10 people. So not 100% successful. So would you slate it and say it doesn't work? No. But again, spin it on his head and that's what they're saying about any vaccination for their owner. This is just the way they work. No context, no thought, no research. They don't know that they've already endorsed the method of controlling a virus seven years ago and stopping the spread of a virus through the same means and the same methods as we use today for the current virus problems that we face. So this is just a quick video again, not very in-depth, but this is a video about the Freds and how they don't give any research or any context to anything they post. They just see something that fits their narrative, for whatever clickbait they, they, uh, they use to make their money or whatever they do. And it's just sad. Misleading a lot of people for what? For clout. So there we go. That is Say What? Episode 3. Don't forget, this Saturday is my birthday. So, as I, get, as I said, to fulfill my birthday wish, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Get me over the thousand mark. I'll be a very happy birthday boy on Saturday. I'll skip the uh, the Fosters and go straight to the Southern Comfort. Have a great week, guys. Take it easy. Peace. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.